Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today if you haven't heard, Denmark has now announced that on the 14th of January, Queen Marguerite is going to abdicate. That means that her son, first in line for the throne, which is presently Prince Frederick, he and his wife, who is the beautiful Mary from Tasmania, they will become king and queen. Now, as a psychic, I want you all to understand here, when we as psychics get our information or our imprints or information that we receive, it's present and active for now. So I'm about to tell you what I see now happening with the UK situation with their monarchy. This may change over the next few days, weeks, months, years. However, but for today, it is 100% solid what I'm about to say. So with the news that now lovely Mary and lovely Frederick are and their gorgeous kids. Come on, you've got to deny You can't deny this. They're young. They're active. How good do they look with all those jewels bouncing off them in their tuxedos and ball gowns? They look amazing. And there is so much pressure out there, especially now with William and Catherine. How great do they look when they go out bedazzled in all their finery and their jewellery? So there is a lot of pressure on King Charles and Camilla today to abdicate also. Will it happen? Before I tell you yes or no, we've got to look at who Charles is. Charles is a guy who spent over seven decades, seven decades waiting and waiting and waiting to become king. He wanted it like a passion. This is what I'm getting psychically, okay? He has wanted this forever, okay? If you watch The Crown, they even touch on this, where he was trying to get his mum to advocate, advoc abdicate, sorry, years ago, but she was standing firm to her oath of when she was coronated. Okay, now coronated is a word from old time, medieval times when they get the crown put on their head. Okay, so we have all this pressure now. Look how great Frederick and um, Mary, nearly getting them all confused here. Frederick and Mary, look at them on the world stage. Then you've got Ch um, Charles and Camilla with their runners-up, <laughs> which, as we know, they're runners-up at this point because they're the heirs, we look at William and Catherine. William and Catherine, and we compare them with Frederick and Mary. Look how great those four people look. You know, if anyone was ever going to replace Meghan and Harry, it's got to be Mary and Frederick, right? Look at the responsibility. Look at the calmness that they project. Look at the stability for their individual countries. And then we've got Charles. Will he abdicate? I'm going to keep this a short one today. Because I know from what I'm getting psychically, this man has such an ego that he is going to stand by his ego of what he wants in his childhood tantrums rather than letting the people decide who is their monarchy. So the answer is, will Charles III abdicate to let King William come into the fore? The answer is no. Let's see if it changes. But as for that, today the answer is no. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you all soon. Bye.